What's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer and welcome to your daily silver stacking video. Thank you for tuning in. And ladies and gentlemen, when I say this information is going to be shocking, that's an understatement. I always talk about how the physical price of silver is detached from spot price. If spot price is $25, we can't buy a physical ounce of silver for $25. We're going to be paying $33, $34 at least and that's just for generics so moving forwards how is this going to change how much bigger are these premiums going to range from and how is this going to affect us as physical silver buyers well i did some digging like always i really wanted to get to the bottom of this and i found some very shocking information because we never heard from big bullion dealers how this is going to affect them right because they're selling physical silver but they have to go by spot price but but i found something crazy there is a bullion dealer called bullion star that talks about physical silver and this is because there is a shortage well look what they say at the end of this article unless the spot price of paper silver starts to reflect the real physical price of silver Bullion Star may soon have no option but to abandon setting prices based on silver spot price altogether and move to fixed prices. Did you just hear what I said? Did you just hear what I said? Abandon spot price altogether and move to fixed prices. And the scariest part is it makes sense. Why would we go buy a price per ounce that has nothing to do with the price per ounce? No matter who says that one ounce coin is worth what is irrelevant because the value of that coin is the one ounce inside of it, not the price tag attached to it. So bullion dealers are in a tricky, are in a tricky situation. Look at your local coin shop, ladies and gentlemen. Look at your local coin shop. They go by spot price, but to buy silver, there is no spot price. Go to your local coin shop right now and ask him how much he will charge you to buy an ounce of silver, but then ask him how much he will buy that ounce of silver from you. He's in a sticky situation because there is a huge premium gap between physical silver right now since it's scarce, but they still go by spot price. So what should they do just make up some number or should they go to a fixed price and what would that fixed price be this situation is only the beginning and i see it moving farther ahead during different periods of time as silver becomes more scarce and this actually happened before this actually happened before let me show you a chart real quick so here's a chart that goes over spot price versus the physical price now look at this 80 percent over the silver spot price in the fall of 2008 this is spot price in the blue line is an ebay gold eagle base average percent premium 15 percent but look at silver 80 percent one ounce american silver eagle coins traded over 25 percent above that than gold and spot price in the fall of 2008 hitting measured high premiums of 80 percent plus above than silver spot price and this is talking about spot price being nine dollars and american eagles selling at sixteen dollars nine dollar spot price but you're selling or having to buy physical silver for sixteen dollars and that was in 2008 the silver shortage is at a much more severe extreme spot right now than back then as well so we're going to see things changing things are changing but anyways let's jump back into this article oh by the way if you want a chance to win some silver two of you lucky stackers watching this video right now are going to win on saturday that is the announcement video of my 48,000 subscriber silver giveaway click subscribe go in the description of this video that's the entry video may the luckiest two stackers win now let's jump into this article it's titled physical silver shortage versus paper silver the silver short squeeze and physical silver at present 
is unprecedented. Even so, the spot price of silver is not even close to the real physical equilibrium price of silver. Bullion Star may soon have no option but to abandon setting prices based on silver spot price altogether and move to fixed prices. So thanks to Wall Street Bits, which is basically Wall Street Silver, the wider public is starting to open its eyes to the corruption and cronyism in the financial markets, including the paper gold and paper silver markets. For years, Bullion Star has been one of the strongest critics of manipulated precious metals markets, where paper issuance of silver out of thin air exceeds the physical availability of real silver at a multiple at least 100 to 1. And what they're saying is, by that, which I've talked about this in the past, every ounce of silver you have in your safe, every ounce of silver you have in your safety deposit box or in your shoebox under your bed or six feet under in the ground behind your house or, you know, maybe in your hand right now, every one of those ounces of physical silver, theoretically a hundred other people own on the COMEX. Every ounce of silver that you have, theoretically a hundred other people think they have that same ounce and that's why i always say if you can't hold it you don't own it while some in the wall street silver movement have suggested purchases of the sob shares and call options many others are recommending physical silver it's important to understand that purchases of the sob shares does not equate to putting pressure on bullion banks Bullion banks provide various services to ETFs such as custodial services and ETFs are known for colluding with central banks. The only way to put pressure on corrupted paper silver market and on bullion banks is to buy physical silver. Only then is there a chance that price discovery for real physical silver will shift to be based on actual trading of physical silver instead of being inherited from synthetic paper trading prone to manipulation. Wow. Wow. So this week... Maybe the most interesting week for silver sabers and investors in decades. And, and let's see what week they're talking about. This was February. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they're looking at the silver squeeze. So, is what we are seeing the start of seminal silver crisis with the potential of finally bringing down the manipulated paper silver market? Can this movement lead to an attack of the very nature of unbacked fiat currency? Will the bullion banks try to smash paper spot price and futures prices back down? And if so, will the price of physical silver definitely disconnect from the paper price? And can the COMEX and the SOB really source the physical silver required amidst the high demand? Well, all of these questions are essentially no. We saw what happened, which was that they shot the price up, the physical spot price to $31. $31. And then, and that was in three days, by the way, three days. And then we saw the price go back down and it, it, it corrected pretty hard. We see a waterfall effect. Let's look at this. Actually, I can show you what we're talking about. Let's go to the three month chart. We can even go to the six month chart. Well, no, let's go to three month. No, let's go to six month. Okay. So this is what happened, right? Wall Street silver, push it up to 30 and then a correction. Boom. This is called the waterfall effect. Boom, correction, down, plateaus, boom, correction, down, plateaus, boom, correction, down, plateaus. See what I'm saying? And during this, most people, most of these Wall Street silver people hopped on the silver train here. And do you think that they are still holding on, having faith when they see that, that you know, their investment that they bought at $30 down to nearly, you know, half? So that's why it's important to understand markets before you get into them and to have faith and in, in, in understand the real value. Now, fortunately, most people on Wall Street Silver are real silver stackers. If you go on there, you can clearly see these people are not selling anytime soon. These are real silver stackers. They understand it is the physical metal that you have to buy. They are not just these people trying to short squeeze the market from the SLV. No, these are real silver stackers. I hate that people try to deem them the wrong way, misinformation. If you want to know, Maybe just go on their Reddit form and look for yourself instead of try. Ooh, instead of ooh, I had someone. <laughs> so Wall Street Silver actually sent me this ten ounce bar to give away to one of you. They literally sent me this ten ounce Wall Street Silver bar to give away to one of you guys. 
They cared about you. I mean, that's insane that they're not even on the YouTube platform. And they were like, you know what? I want to give Silver Slayer's audience this bar. And they wanted you to have a chance. So you watching this video right now, Wall Street Silver wanted to give you that. Think of it like that, which is pretty cool. I mean, it is really cool if you think about it. So anyways, so anyways, what happened? Yes, shot the price down. But I do see that the disconnection between physical silver and paper silver is here. Look at this. Silver ask price is $23.64. Let's see how much a generic round is. The, 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 the closest to spot price possible, $29.20. So the most generic, close to spot price sold just for the metal is $29.20 when spot price is $23. Think about that. You want to see how much an American Eagle is? $31.53. A 2021 Type 2, $33. $33 when spot price is $23. That's a $10 premium. What we pay for a physical ounce of silver is no longer relevant. So paper silver manipulation. I've covered a lot of this. J.M. Bullion, Dutch Bank, Merrill Lynch. But anyways, this was claimed to be a conspiracy theory of bullion banks colluding to manipulate and suppress the paper price of precious metals that have been proven true again and again. Right? Throwing trillions of dollars to suppress price of silver and throwing trillions of dollars to pump up the price of stocks. Bullion Star has also exposed, for example, here, 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 and here, how precious metals industries, organizations like the LBMA, which is the London Bullion Market Association, protect interest of paper dealing bullion bank rather than further interest of physical producers and dealers. Suppressing the paper price of gold and silver goes to the very core, not only the financial system, but to the whole monetary system. And this is in the gold and silver price manipulation, the greatest trick ever pulled. We wrote, which maybe I'll cover a video on that. Manipulating gold and silver prices by spoofing futures, which is placing false buy orders on the exchange and then canceling the order before it goes through, tricking the volume, tricking everyone else on the exchange to think the price is going to do whatever it does. Um, but perhaps the most far reaching yet unappreciated method of manipulation is sitting there in plain sight. And that is the very structure of contemporary gold and silver markets where prices are established by trading in vast quantities of fractionally backed synthetic gold and silver credit, be it in the form of vast quantities of unallocated positions that are gold or silver in name only, or in the form of silver futures, which haven't the slightest connection with CME approved precious metals vaults and warehouses. So they're siphoning off demand for real gold and silver and channeling it into unbacked or fractionally backed credits and futures, right? It's, and here's silver price suppression. Another contributor to the suppression of paper, silver, and gold is the government manipulation of inflation figures. So here's using, using shadow stats, alternative CPI, which CPI is basically like an artificial trading robot. Real inflation adjusted all-time high for silver in the United States is $966. Yes, nearly $1,000. And that's the inflation adjusted high for silver. So following Bullion Star's post on real inflation adjusted all-time high for silver, many followers of Wall Street Silver has referenced to $1,000 as the price target for silver. A zero hedge post from today with more than 2.1 million views and 9,000 comments also makes reference to this price calculated by Bullion Star while nothing that the silver bullion market is one of the most manipulated on earth. Wow. And it's important for banks and central banks and governments to ensure the precious metals price remains subdued. This is so, or this is because precious metals still indirectly backstops the whole monetary system. If the price of gold and silver were to skyrocket, it would expose that the emperor has no clothes. Example, uh, the fiat currency is intrinsically worthless. And now does it make sense? It does make sense. And it's crazy because the only reason America is the richest country in the world is because we own the most gold. But Gold and silver is a direct threat to the U.S. dollar. It's a direct threat. Do you think people want to, do you think the government wants people to take 
the power away from them and take control of their wealth because once you transfer fake money into real money once you take your money out of the dollar or anything pegged to the dollar you have taken the control away from them and put it into your own hands do you think they want that and this article goes even more they're talking about paper silver price versus physical price i mean th this is a great article it's very lengthy though oh we're almost done um Maybe I'll just highlight some of the main stuff for the rest of the way. So, silver price discovery, which is how the price of silver is established by the market, is akin to a game of charade. Price discovery is based on paper silver spot trading in London and paper silver futures trading in New York. The whole charade is based on the premise of little to no real physical silver ever changing hands. If holders of paper silver were to demand delivery of physical silver supply would quickly run out and that's people turning in the contracts right that's people turning in their contracts and that's actually how the hunt brothers in 1980 owned 77 percent of the global silver supply the hunt brothers bunker hunt uh, three hunt brothers owned 77 percent of the global silver supply and they tried to turn all of those contracts into physical delivery that's crazy that's 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 actually insane. And what happened was that pushed the silver price to fifty dollars. The government banned silver, and history's from there. So, anyways, and I made a video about that yesterday, actually last night. Check it out. And this is which is actually exactly what is happening right now. Historically, however, almost all paper silver transactions have been digitally cash settled without anyone ever seeing the silver. And that's why they can get away with this. But if people were to try to turn in those contracts, there would not be enough silver. And as there is no central marketplace for trading physical silver, the price of physical silver has been inherited from spot price and futures papers markets with an added premium covering the cost of refining, minting, shipping, storage, and insurance with retail. With the developments over the last few days of investors shifting away from paper silver and taking delivery of physical silver, the whole market construct for precious metals is changing. And here's the price disconnection, which I kind of covered in that SD bullion chart I showed, right? And, and it's just insane. I mean, it, it is insane, right? It, it's insane. And here's that chart I was talking about. We are seeing something changing and it's changing for a reason which we all know just like when i cover price forecasts from way back in the day if we're talking about a hundred dollars silver that doesn't mean spot price will be a hundred dollars that means what we're paying for a physical ounce of silver would be a hundred dollars if spot price is 65 dollars that doesn't mean that we are paying 65 dollars for an ounce we would be probably paying around $100. See what I'm saying? So when I say $100 silver is coming, that doesn't mean spot price is going to be $100. That means what it costs for us to buy a physical ounce is $100. Do you see how spot price is disconnected from the physical price because silver is scarce? So anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. This is a very long video. If you stuck around this long in the video, I praise you kudos you're a very good stacker you didn't click off the video thinking that you knew everything you wanted to know every piece of information sitting through this entire video it shows a lot about your character i seriously can guarantee you're a very good stacker with a very good strategy in play because you seriously wanted to get all this information soak all this information up and i respect you for that i respect you so much if you sat through this entire very long video until now so if you're hearing this i seriously respect you give yourself a pat on the back because you my friend are someone who wants all the education you can get you're not closed-minded thinking that you know everything and blah 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 you wanted it all that's that's a great that, that's a great aspect i mean that that's amazing to me so anyways i'm gonna wrap this video up here if you want a chance to win some silver click subscribe go in the description enter in that video Trust me, you're going to want to. Two silver stackers. Two silver stackers are going to be winning. And if you're someone watching the video th this far into it, karma is probably going your way. I'm sure one of the people that win is probably going to be someone that stuck through this video because the universe works like that. Life is trippy, but karma is real. Thanks for tuning in. This is Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.